Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. All right, we're going to get into tomorrow's fight, Wednesday's fight. Uh, getting into it a little late. I just saw the odds pop up. It's not a bad fight. I think we can make some money on this. That's uh, Sergey Lipinets and Robbie Davies Jr. Um, I think this is a pretty interesting fight. Um, I like this fight. Um, let me get this thing right here. Um, I, I, I like this fight to bet on. I like this fight to make some money on. Uh, before we get into this, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, also, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. It's also in that little banner below. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week, and we always make money with the lock. Uh, the lock is just that we made money on it last week. I gave it the guys in the uh Patreon a second lock, and they made that too. On, on Monday's fight, I gave him a two play parlay, I gave him in a way, uh, cool in a way, uh, to win uh, the money line, and now in a way to win on. Uh, by stoppage, that obviously hit. They made decent money on, on an easy layup, and they made decent money on that. Guys, join the Patreon. I'm, I'm telling you, it, this is easy. I show you guys how to make money every single month, every single week. You can quit your second job. Join the Patreon. Links in the description. You get you get that. You get a ton of perks. It's $5 a month. Let me know. Uh, also, other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, y'all. It, it, uh, let's get going. Let's get popping. All right, it's Sergey Lipin, yes. Um, can really grind on the inside. Good hard shots, short shots, good stiff jab. I like his jab. It's snappy. It's it's quick. He doesn't show it. it it's quick. It's in your face. I do like his jab. You know, he stands in front of you. He's not difficult to find. But that's my design. He wants to bang. He wants to hit. But he's got a little bit of boxing skills. He can box from the outside. He's he's got all. A complete arsenal on the inside. He's not a huge volume guy, but he's pretty accurate. He's pretty accurate on the inside. He's accurate with his jab, and he's got pop. He's got plenty of pop. I, I think he's obviously the bigger hitter in the fight. He's slow, but his footwork is good. Whoever told him to fight did a good job, but you can't make you know you can't teach him how to be fast. You know he he can time shots. He can do certain things. He's a pretty good fighter. His feet are are. are Stuck in the ground sometimes, but he sits down on his punches and he delivers hard shots. He really is what you would expect him to be for a, a slower plotting guy. He's skilled. He's talented. He's got one down floor, and that's he's easy to hit, and he's in front of you. Punchers are going to get rid of him. Boxers can outbox him. Boots Enos can do what the hell Boots Enos did to him. But... If you're not up to it, it, he can do to you what he did to Brandon Figueroa. This guy that won the world title. He's a good fighter with flaws. He's a good fighter who is limited. Now, who is he fighting? Robbie Robbie Davis Jr. I'm, I'm not a huge fan. He's not a puncher. He's not a volume guy. He's really selective with his shots. He likes to move laterally, move backwards. He doesn't really commit to his shots. He doesn't come forward. I don't really know what he is. He's not terrible. I guess he's a low volume guy. Afraid to really he's really afraid to let his hands go. Like he, he's got decent skills. Like there's a foundation to work with. Again, this is a guy that learned how to learn the sport correctly, but to a degree, because like the sport is it, it, it's the hurt business. And he doesn't really seem to want to hurt anyone. He's got a decent win in his last fight. Or two fights ago against Javier Molina. That's a decent win. His, his last fight, he got destroyed by Dara Foley. He's got a win over an aging Hank Lundy. He and he lost to Lewis Ritson. He lost to Lewis Ritson wide back in 2019, which is. And he also has a win over Joe Hughes somehow. So he somehow has, has been able to find a way to outbox these guys. And he's mostly a jabber. He's got a questionable chin. He leaves himself wide open. If, if you can punch in between punches, if you're a high-level guy, if you're a high-level counter-puncher, this is easy for you. If you can crack, this is easy for you. I'm surprised Lewis Richard didn't get rid of him. I really am. Not the fastest guy. 
not a hitter. He's selective with his shots. He's afraid to let his hands go. He's got a good jab. He's got decent movement. He's got a little bit of skills. But it's not going to be enough. He's going to get flattened in this fight by Sergey Lipinets. He's going to get flattened. If Lipinets has anything left in the tank, and Lipinets is an aging guy, but I, I think he's going to have something left in the tank. And this is the Pro Box card. Lipinets, who's 35, is going to flatten him. Because he's going to get the ring cut off on him. Lepidus can do that. He's got good feet. He can work his angles. He can cut him off. He's going to trap him. He's going to steamroll him because there's nothing he can do. And he's afraid to let his hands go. So I, I think Lippin gets, gets rid of him. Let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this fight. Let's pull that up right now. Yes, sir. All right. Lippin yes is a prohibitive favorite. He's a minus 575 favorite, so we're going to put a one-times bet on that. That's going to make it 1739. We're also going to put half a bet on Lipinets to win by stoppage. That's still minus 240. Minus 240. So that's going to make us $21 and $17. So $115 bet, $150 bet, one and a half times bet. So we're going to make a one-times bet on Lipinets on the money line, which is at minus 575. We're going to make half a bet on Lipinets uh, by stoppage. That is going to make us $38 on a $150 bet. It's not great. It's profit. It's pretty sure. I like this a lot. I think this is a lock. I think Lipinets stops him. If he doesn't, we've heads it a little bit. You didn't lose much on it. But, again, the odds are not great. If the odds are better, I'd probably put a little more on this. Uh, the odds at minus 240, even for the stoppage. If they're telling you Lipinets is going to stop them, and they're right on this. They are right on this. Lipinets is going to stop them. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the box of book. Get all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Just files a month. It gets you a lock of the week. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It gets you a free T-shirt. It gets you a ton of awesome perks. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, it is, what day is it? It's May 8th already, 2024 from Texas. To the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.